Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. I'm back. Um, we are going to do a general read. This is the Ask Yourself deck. I don't know it, exactly what it's called, but we're going to see what comes out. Um, you guys do me a favor. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Sorry, I'm hitting my cord. Red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six. Mean to have my back because I have yours. Yeah, so there you have it. Be assertive. Unlikely, it says. And then we have at the bottom of the deck is yes. So at one point, it's unlikely. It's asking you. It says a year from now. A year from now. So, and it says meditation brings answers and be assertive. So whatever it is that you have going on, the universe is telling you to be assertive. And right now is not the time, or right now it's unlikely that whatever you're trying to do is going to um, come to fruition right now. But it says to meditate on it. And a year from now, if you just keep working on it, the answer is yes. So right now it's just not the time. I'm going to pull from the emotional deck to see, what is it called? The true emotional deck. To see what comes out, there's cards here. I'll pull one more set. These cards are just like, yeah, secrets are here. And then we have shocking, pop the question is here. Shocking news, that came out of my read that I did. Yeah, at some point you're fed up. Whatever the results are, whatever is unlikely, you're fed up with um, the actions of a person, place, thing, or a situation. And basically, um, time is running out because that's the first card that shows its face. Family, unlikely family under pressure. Sorry, I've been drinking that Perrier water. Ooh, it's so nasty, but trying to do something different, right? Uh, self love, pop the question, and shocking news. So, whatever it is that you're looking towards, um, somebody's time is running out because you're fed up, and the answer is yes. So, maybe right now is not the time when it comes to family. It's unlikely that things are going to play out the way that you want them to, but meditation brings answers. I'd say, if you ask me, send a strength and healing to a person. Sometimes separation needs to happen. I just cut my light down. Sometimes separation needs to happen because at some point you are fed up with the results of dealing with a person, place, thing, or a situation. So um, I'm going to clarify family. I'm going to clarify under pressure and secrets and self-love. So family and this is the Intuit Tarot deck that I'm using right now. Uh, when it comes to family, I set my, okay, it's a lot of cards that came out. When it comes to family, yeah, okay, so, yeah, that was a lot. This is a lot. This is like 10 cards. Um, should I take it? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take it. But we have the uh, Autumn Equinox, Prepare for Change. So when it comes to family, the universe is telling you to prepare for change. A few months, make long-term plans, express gratitude, harvest, and then fall. So when it comes to family, something about the equinox uh, and a test of faith, your boundaries are being um, uh, put to the test, uh, whatever, in your faith and holding the line and persistence. And then it says to maintain when it comes to family. We have the empress, and that came out sideways. So the empress uh, is divine feminine in the upright but in the reverse it's feminine power it's feminine power so the unsure energy if you can yeah because you're under pressure if you're able to whether male or female if you got heavy masculine energy or fe feminine energy you can take whatever or however it resonates with you but um, you're being put to the test and when it comes to the lover's energy doing what makes your heart happy um, misaligned values or a union um, you're questioning family when it comes to this situation and then we have the Page of Swords, playing the games or a thirst for knowledge. So at some point, the Page of Swords energy tells you um, a quick, sharp mind is one of your greatest assets. Always be alert, crystal clear, and focused on your perceptions. And then um, perspective, excuse me, perceptions, I said it right. The Six of Cups energy, or excuse me, Six of Pentacles energy is given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. Um, I think this is, this cup has runneth over and it's run dry because you've given to the situation when it comes to family. And it's causing you to feel under pressure. Also, the six of coins is giving and receiving, like I said, and strings attached. You're giving too much, and you don't want to put strings attached. You give freely, but there are strings attached when it comes to the other person. So you had to practice self-love. 
and maybe uh, within a year, uh, this might not be the same person, but popping the question and shocking news could be for you or it could be for another individual. But the answer is yes, because at some point you're fed up. And then we have the Seven of Cups energy, many possibilities and charity, clarity of thought, sorry, um, clarity of thought. So it says focus actions. Um, it says seeing a clear choice, concrete, decisive, and then it says unclear. So um, even though there are several options, this person is unclear about the three of coins energy, three of pentacles. Each pentacle is equivalent to a year. We have the seven of pentacles out here, and we also have the three of coins. So could be close to nine years, seven years, or three years you've been deciding and been under pressure and wanting something different. And so not learning from the past mistakes is the three of coins in the reverse, and that's what it says. It says, a lack of interest, third-party friction, uncommitted, and doing it alone. So, again, when it says what you're doing, you're giving. There, there is not an equal give and take. You're giving everything, which makes you feel under pressure, and it's causing you anxiety and decisions that need to be made, and that comes with the Nine of Coins. Yeah, so the Nine of Pentacles and the Upright, which is um, setting boundaries again, under pressure. It says rewards of your labor. It says uh, status, abundance self-sufficient, on your own, taking it easy, maturation, it says fulfillment and freedom. You know, you've been under pressure, but now you're starting to do things a little bit different. The secrets are here. So uh, secrets come with the queen of coins energy. As JDS Tarot used to say, I'm not sure if he says it now, but as he used to say, um, the queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself because uh, the saying that I have up here is the queen of pentacles is a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life, protect and care for them no matter what, even their secrets. And even though you know um, deep down that there are secrets or there's things that you won't be able to tell a soul when it comes to the love that you've given and the, 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 the energy you've received in return, it's time for you to practice self-love and stop giving two situations, eight of coins, energy, Eight of Pentacles energy. It's time for you to work on yourself. It says dedication to the craft. It says detailed um, speciality. Sorry, I'm adjusting my microphone. It says speciality. It says sticking, sticking, sticking to it. Self-employed achievements. It says work. It says mastery, and it says committed. So you are working on yourself, and that's a part of self-love. You're looking at yourself in the mirror. And you're realizing everything that you've been through. So a year from now, it could be now, but it could be at, at the point where before you started questioning things, you know, the universe is like a year from now, you'll look at things in a different light. And they said to meditate, to like sit back and uh, go into the four of pentacles energy, which is pulling your um, energy back um, from the things. It's like persevering or, or preserving, pulling your energy back from the things that no longer serve you, not spending, saving, doing things, and popping the question. Maybe somebody will uh, pop the question, but you have to see things in a new light. Six of Swords, the only way this will happen is if you walk away from the things that no longer serve you and the shocking news. Uh, so Six of Swords, better times are ahead. So again, popping the question. It may happen, but you're meditating the things that you want, but you have to be assertive moving forward. And the shocking news comes... Um, because you're fed up, and it also comes with a two of swords, yeah, attention, attention, and it says red flags. The shocking news is that the other person's red flags brought, uh, you know, something else to your attention, and you meditating and you loving yourself brought you to a point to where uh, you're saying stop, don't, don't cross your setting boundaries, going within, considering options, decisions, and a clear warning. So that is the news. They weren't ready to commit, and so you were fed up, and the answer is yes. So yes to something else, not them. Yeah, Nine of Swords, because this was causing you sleepless nights, anxiety. The Nine of Swords says, and it's in the reverse, so it says emotional anguish, regret, emotional baggage. So being fed up, understanding that you're taking on somebody else's baggage is not what it is that you want to be a part of, and so... What you had to do was just to pull your energy back. Now, the last couple of reads that I've done, pop the questions, shocking news, and uh, I think secrets was there. Uh, this is my first time getting family and under pressure, um, and I think I had self-love too. So, again, meditation, sit on it.
not literally, but <laughs> anyway, sorry, sleep on it, you know, sleep, you know, uh, send strength and healing, don't ask why, protect your energy, and with that, I'm going to pull from the virtual reality, protect your energy deck to see um, what you need to be protecting your energy from, and sometimes, again, in order to get the answer that you really want, you have to meditate and, you know, kind of not question the things that aren't happening. Yeah, you've been, you needed to protect your energy from vindictive people. So it says on the down low, but it also says, uh, pharisaical, I don't know how to say that, hypocritical, uh, censorious, and it says self-righteous people. And so it also says vindictive, unreasoning and unwavering desire for revenge. And it says on the down low, kept quiet and under wraps. Somebody that could be having third party energies and dealing with other people, the bottom of the deck is stressed out. Yeah, you're fed up, stressed out and things like that. So you need to protect your energy from that. So moving forward, the shocking news is that you're fed up and you're going to be very assertive with your energies. You're going to understand and know the red flags and maybe if... Uh, time permits and somebody comes towards you you're going to say exactly what it is and why you're moving on but you're setting boundaries you're understanding and you're working on yourself and you're walking away from the things that no longer serve you but you're also putting your trust in yourself and you're not letting anybody cross the line so again don't pass go don't collect your 200 dollars. don't pass this point go directly to away from me the opposite way so that's kind of how i see this energy i'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then I'm also going to pull from the four agreements and so if you want to know my perspective of the four agreements I'll put the link up above you guys I really miss you guys it's been a deep well first of all I'm just getting my voice back but um just I've been having when I say to you literally for the last month um it's been you know whatever's been going on it's heavy and so um you guys send strength and healing to you guys um I hope all is well. I'm okay. I'm finishing up everything. But at some point, you know, when I got sick, it was just like I had to sit still. And when I go through things that are get too heavy, I literally sit still, meaning not go out the house. I don't really do a lot. And I have to practice and focus on me healing myself without uh, bringing negative energy on towards me. But I always keep you guys in my thoughts and my prayers. I miss you guys and I'll be back. And I'm back, not be back. I'm, I'm back. Um, also, I'll be graduating in a couple of months. So, yeah, it's been a long journey, and you guys have been with me through it. So I love you guys. Um, it says be impeccable with your words. Be assertive. Enjoy heaven on earth. Um, and that's the power of your words. It says impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the kingdom of heaven from one, from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your words. So moving forward, you're going to be able to speak your mind to, you know, say what it is that you need and go from there and also do it out of out of love, not not being vindictive, not saying things because you know that how to get under somebody's skin. You're just sending strength and healing to a person. You're not asking why they went through this or why they're doing you like this. You're simply moving forward. And that is the best way that you can heal. And so this is the crown and the third eye chakra, uh, violet uh, sapphire, and it's spirituality, prosperity, and intuition. You're trusting in yourself, and that's the best thing you can do. I am filled with universal truth and wisdom. Your truth is your truth, and how you feel is how you feel. And a year from now, or maybe right now, of you working on yourself, eight of pentacles here, all the pentacles here of you working on yourself and understanding what teamwork is understanding how to trust in yourself and to set boundaries and to uh, stop feel, you know feeling anxiety and things like that under pressure and fed up and um, again having the anxiety is by you sending strength and healing and moving forward so let's let this old energy go I now let go of worn out conditions of blacked out hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or situation i love you guys